Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and a very, very warm welcome to The Rashid Show. Welcome to those of you watching at home, welcome to those of you watching online, and welcome to you in the audience here today. It's great to see so many of you here tonight. You know, it was Gandhi who said, be the change we want to see in the world, and that's what this show is all about. Well-known, unknown people, all in their small or big ways, trying to make a change in their lives or in the world. Right, here we are on the set of the Rashid Show. Behind me, as you can probably see, we're setting up the set, the set as we speak. In a few hours' time, that's going to be completely full of members of the public and audience, a great audience here tonight. Not surprisingly, too, because we've got a great show lined up. We've got the Paralympic athlete, about 11 times champion, Dame Tani Gray Thompson. She's going to be um, being interviewed tonight. We've also got Dinah Powley. Dinah's a really fascinating woman. She's one of the country's leading hypnotherapists. She once almost had her life completely ruined by illness. Now she's turned that around and helping people to move ahead, um, overcome things like addictions and all sorts of problems. We've got her. We're going to be helping somebody in the audience completely turn their life around. So we're going to be giving them an opportunity of a lifetime to do something that they've always wanted to do. We're also going to be travelling to the heart of London to hear your words of wisdom. So that's where the public get to say what they've learned most in life. And all that and much, much more. So tune in. I think that it's a really important moment. I think that uh, we've really got a good product. I think that we've got the buzz already about the show is really, really exciting. When I've told people about the show, they're really keen to see it. They can't wait to see it. I think the job for us to do now is to convince terrestrial TV channels that this is the kind of programming that they need. I think the task really is to make them realize that there is a gap for people to see a host who is representative of lots of people who aren't represented on TV at the moment at the moment. There's so much negativity about young black men and all the rest of that. That's a factor. But also, I think that people are wanting to see the kind of host on a kind of chat show who isn't haranguing their audience, isn't giving them a, a tough time, which we see in lots of British UK shows. I think they want to see somebody with a far more supportive style, and I hope that that's what I bring. And I think that they're wanting to see far more people. We've missed a lot of TV where people, um, apart from certain types of reality TV, where we just get the, where the public are very much um, in view, can tell their stories. We've got some really refreshing, fresh items like Words of Wisdom, where we go into the street and people share what they've learned, where people get to tell stories of people who've inspired the most in their life, and where people can contribute via the webcam and things and so on. It's a highly interactive show. I think that's one of the things that's so much show. Highly interactive show, lots and lots of elements. I hope that the audience get a show that they actually want to see, a show that's reflective of their lives. Most people are wanting to move ahead in their lives, their careers, their relationships. They're wanting to be positive. They're wanting something that is really reflecting their struggle and their triumphs. There isn't that much of it on TV. There are some good programs, but there's not enough of it. This show is giving them something that they can really enjoy. Simple as that. I thought it was absolutely brilliant. I learned a lot. I think that she is a wonderful person, very inspirational. Quite amazing. Yeah. Absolutely amazing. And thank you for inviting me to this show. And I'll have, a, I'll have a wonderful evening. If there were more Rashids in this world, we wouldn't have so many challenges.